so my dear students uh, here we will take the next question here what is a here a is a1 that is a1 is given as a and a2 is given as a square and a3 is given as a cube and a4 is given as a raised to 4 so my dear students how will you find d here d is equal to a2 minus a1 what is a2 here a square minus what is a1 here See this a square can be written as a into a minus a and I can take a here common and that is a minus 1. d is a into the bracket a minus 1. This d can also be written as a3 minus a2 and what is a3 here? a cube and what is a square, a2 here? a square. This a cube can be written as a into a into a and this is a into a. See the here what is the common? That is a into a that is a minus 1 so that is a square into the bracket a minus 1 I can write it and it can also be written as d can also be written as a4 minus a3 a4 is a to the power 4 and this is a to the power 3 and a4 can be written as a3 into the bracket it is a3 into a that is minus a cube and here I can take a cube common and this can be written as a cube minus 1. See my dear students, d is different in all the cases. d is different in all the cases. Therefore, the given terms are not in arithmetic progression or not in arithmetic progression. Let us move for the next question now. So my dear students, in this uh, problem, what is given? a1 is given as root 2 and a2 is given as root 8 and a3 is given as root 18 and a4 is given as root 32. See what is uh, common difference here my dear students. A, a d can be written as a2 minus a1. What is a2 here? Root 8 and what is a1 here? Root 2. See this can be written as root 8 can be written as root 4 into 2 and minus root 2. See this root 4 into root 2 I can write and this is minus root 2. See therefore root 2 into 2 here and minus root 2. See therefore I can take root 2 common and this is 2 minus 1. What is 2 minus 1? That is 1. Therefore common difference is equal to root 2. See let us find here also. D can be written as a3 minus a a2 here okay for an easy understanding i'm writing here below a3 is root 18 and what is root 8 and a2 a2 that is root 8 see here what is uh, how can i simplify this uh, root 18 see this root 18 can be written as root 18 can be written as root 9 into 2 right isn't it and this root 8 can be written as root 4 into 2 see here root 9 it can be split into root 9 into root 2 and this can be split into root 4 into root 2 already you know root 9 is 3 root 2 and root 4 is 2 root 2 see when i subtract 3 root 2 minus root 2 root 2 what happens again i am getting the root 2 and this d can also be written as a 4 minus a3 see let us calculate what is a4 root 32 and what is a3 here root 18 and this root 32 can be written as 16 into 2 isn't it and this root 18 can be written as 9 into 2 so this can be split into root 16 into root 2 and this can be split into root 9 into root 2 see what is root 16 4 root 2 and what is the root 9 that is 3 root 2 see 4 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is giving me root 2 see therefore d is constant in all the cases here it is 2 here it is 2 here it is 2 therefore the given terms are in arithmetic progression if the given terms are in arithmetic progression what are the other terms other three terms a5 can be written as a4 plus d and a6 can be written as a5 plus d and a7 can be written as a6 plus d what is a4 a4 here a4 is root 32 root 32 a5 can be written as root 32 plus what is d here root 2 see this can be written as root 16 into 2 
plus for root 2 that is root 16 is 4 root 2 plus for root 2 4 root 2 plus root 2 is giving me 5 root 2 that is a5 is equal to 5 root 2 okay how can i find a6 a6 can be written as a5 plus b a5 is 5 root 2 and a2 is root 2 and a6 can be 6 root 2 6 root 2 or how can i write this one uh, how can i write this 6 you take inside the root what happens 6 is the 36 into 2 see 36 into 2 is giving me 72 see when i take 5 inside the bracket what happens root 25 into 2 this is root 50 and now uh, a6 uh, a7 how can i write this a6 plus b a6 is ro 6 root 2 and what is b here root 2 and this is 7 root 2 see take 7 inside the bracket what happens inside the root what happens 7 square that is 49 into 2 see therefore 49 into 2 is root 98 therefore the first four terms of an arithmetic progression are the first seven terms of an arithmetic progression are what are those that is root 2 root 8 root 2 root 8 root 6 root 18 root 18 root 18 root 32 root 50 root 72 root 98 these are the next three terms or the total first seven terms of an arithmetic progression let's move to the next question now see my dear friends here a1 is equal to 3 and a2 is equal to root 6 and a3 is equal to root 9 and a4 is equal to root 12 this uh, common difference let us find the common difference a d is equal to a2 minus a1 what is a2 here a2 is root 6 and what is a1 root 3 this can be written as root 2 into root 3 minus root 2 see this root 3 into root 2 minus this is root 3 i can take root 3 as common and the remaining is root 2 minus 1 and this d can be written as a3 minus a2 and what is a3 here root 9 and what is a2 here root 6 and this root 9 can be written as 3 minus and this can be split into 3 into 2 and see here i can write this as root 3 into root 3 isn't it and this can be written as root 3 into root 2 and i can take root 3 common and again root 3 minus root 2 root 3 minus root 2 and let us go for the next constant that is a common difference other formula a4 minus a3 this can be written as root 12 minus root 9 so this can be written as 4 into 3 and this is 3 and this is can be written as 2 root 3 minus 3 and 2 root 3 can be written as this is root 3 into root 3 see if i take root 3 common what is remaining 2 minus root 3 see here d is not constant in all the cases therefore the given numbers are not in arithmetic progression are not in arithmetic progression so let us move for the next question here what is a1 a1 here that is 1 square is equal to 1 what is a2 here 3 square that is equal to 9 a4 how much it is 5 square it is 25 and what is a5 here 7 square that is 49 see here common difference a2 minus a1 what is a2 here 9 what is a1 here 1 9 minus 1 is 8 d can also be written as a3 minus a2 and what is see this is a3 sorry and this is a4 and what is a3 here it is a 25 minus 9 25 minus 9 it is 16 and d can also be written as a4 minus a3 what is a4 here 49 and what is a3 here 25 it is 24 see here in all the cases the d is not constant d is not constant therefore the given numbers are not in 
arithmetic progression the given numbers are not in arithmetic progression let us go for the next question here what is a1 here a1 means 1 square a2 is 5 square a3 is 7 square a4 is 73 and 1 square is 1 5 square is 25 7 square is 49 this is 73 he had given See common difference here d is equal to a2 minus a1 what is a2 here 25 a1 is 1 which is equal to 24 similarly d is equal to a3 minus a2 what is a3 here 49 what is a2 here minus 25 49 minus 25 it is a 24 again you can calculate d as a4 minus a3 see a4 is 73 and a3 is 49 and again it is 24 see in all cases the d is constant therefore the given numbers are in arithmetic progression so when the given numbers are in arithmetic progression we have to find the next three terms what are those a5 a6 and a7 how can i write a5 a4 plus d how can i write a6 a5 plus d how can i write a7 a6 plus d so what is a4 here 73 and what is d here 24 this is 77 and 97 and this is a5 is 97 and 24 this is 101 and 121 and what is a7 a6 plus d what is a6 here 121 plus 24 this is 145 therefore the given numbers are therefore the given numbers are 1 comma 25 comma 49 comma 73 comma 97 comma 121 comma 145 145 145 therefore these are the given numbers these are the numbers which are in arithmetic progression that's all about regarding the exercise number 1.1 the 10 questions we had solved so if you want more problems a solution for the problems like this let me comment in the comment section box so thank you one and all